you remember what it was like before computers and the internet? Some of you were born into it, so you won't know, but some of you are my age and we can remember back before the internet. It's crazy to think about how everything has changed since then and how used to it we are. Take a look at this interview with Bill Gates in 1995 of him being asked to explain what the internet is. This video is kind of a trip because it shows you the thinking of a person pre-internet, pre-computers taking over the world. Big thanks to Sefco in the Discord for submitting this video. If you guys want to submit videos, Discord. But you know, I think about this, and, and what about this internet thing? Do you do you know anything about that? Sure. I bet well, he knows what a lot. What is that exactly? Well, it's it's become a place where people are publishing information. Right. So everybody can have their own homepage. Companies are there. The latest information. Yeah. It's wild what's going on. You can send electronic mail to people. Email. Uh, it is the big new thing. It's easy to criticize something you don't fully understand, which is my position here. Go ahead. But I, I can remember a couple of months ago, there was like a big breakthrough announcement <laughs> that on the internet or on some computer deal, they were going to broadcast a, a baseball game. You could listen to a baseball game on your computer. And I just thought to myself, does radio ring a bell? <laughs> It's funny that he says that because he doesn't understand the implications of being able to just listen to it anywhere, anytime, on any device. This concept didn't even exist back then. He's wanting a terrestrial big giant antenna to send radio waves. Like, those terrestrial waves only go so far before they turn into static, but not with the internet. And they didn't understand that yet. It's so funny. You know what I mean? Just... There's, there's a difference. There is a difference. It's not a huge difference. What is the uh, difference? You can listen to the baseball game whenever you want. All right. Oh, I see. So it's stored in one of your memory deals. Exactly. And then you can come That's back the a year later. you talked yeah. about earlier. Yeah. Do tape recorders ring a bell? <laughs> <laughs> tape! Uh, with the film yeah, I just, stuff. I just don't know. How, what, what can you, just knowing me, the little you know me now, what, how, what am I missing here? What do I need? Well, if you want to learn about the latest cigars or uh, auto racing uh, statistics. Well, you know, or, I don't know. Uh, I've got that covered. I, I subscribe to two British magazines. Magazines. Devoted entirely to motorsports. <laughs> and I call the Quaker State Speed Line about two times a half hour. <laughs> so now, now would the computer give me more than I'm getting that way? Oh, you can find other people who have the same unusual interests you do. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Good one, Bill Gates. You mean, you mean the troubled loner chat room on the internet? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> when you think about it, all of the things that he mentioned, like tape recorders and radio and all that stuff, that's all on here. It's all in the palm of your hand and online at the same time. It's so crazy how the world has changed. I saw this video and it just was a blast from the past. If you're a younger person watching this video, imagine what the world was like in Boomerville. What am I saying? Boomer time? The Boomer era? Who cares? Back then, when you wanted to go hang out with your friends, you had to either call them on a phone that was connected to the wall or just go to their house and knock on the door and ask if they're home. Anyways, guys, thanks for going down Nostalgia Lane with me. I appreciate you. It's always fun watching these with you guys. Hope you enjoyed yourselves and that's pretty much it. See ya.